In our last episode, we showed you Dawn's finished vintage fairy light socks, self-striping socks in O Canada by Timber Yarns, and Lisa modeled her amazing turtle dove sweater by Spass Tricot, knit in Woolfolk Luft. And we also had a few finished crochet market bags ready for the summer. What do you want to start with? Mm -hmm. What do you want to start with? Whatever. Hi, Maybe. and welcome to the Codependent Knitters. We're at episode 36. That's pretty... It's getting up there. It's getting up there. Um, this is my friend Dawn. This is my friend Lisa. And together we're the Codependent Knitters. We're coming to you from Sarnia, uh, Ontario, In Ontario yeah. Canada. 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 We have yeah. some, we say that every time, but we do have um, some new subscribers this month. Mm -hmm. So welcome if you're new. And if you're coming back, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. Yeah. So Thanks for showing up. We've had a pretty busy summer. I was just, we were just talking about that, texting back and forth. It has been crazy busy lately. It has been. It's been pretty. We had a weekend away. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, with some friends. A friend has a cottage in Bawa, mm -hmm. which is in the Muskoka area. And uh, she invited. Beautiful. Yeah, she invited some of us up that know each other for a weekend. And it was, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Just peaceful. Mm -hmm. Relaxing. Beautiful weather. Knitting. Lots of knitting. Yeah. Lots of. Just good friendship just and relaxing and yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Just sit, relax, talk and chat. And mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good to even get to know each other better. It was. Mm -hmm. And kind of like our retreat weekend, it wasn't discussed ahead of time, but um, no. I think pretty well, some of us brought just some little gifts for everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, did you bring yours? No, I forgot mine. I have mine. You do. Yeah. I want to show them because they're. You do, you girl. <laughs> She's so organized compared to me. Well, there's a ton of stuff here today. Let me just say, the whole desk is covered with stuff we're going to talk about. I have a chair to my side covered in stuff to talk about. Uh, all my project bags and everything. It's just crazy. So, this But first off, um, just some little gifts from friends. So this, this was a gift. It's a hand woven towel. That girl, I tell you. That, um, that our woman. Friend, our friend Noelle. Noelle from Knits and Pieces, Pieces podcast. Noelle's here in Sarnia, and mm -hmm. she's a weaver also. And I have a little collection now. I know. I, think I, I know. Have three. Yeah, three of of her hand woven towels that and nobody's so allowed gorgeous. to use. <laughs> <laughs> they're cotton. So these are the Hudson's Bay stripes. Anyone in Canada is familiar with them? The green, the red, the gold, and the blue, and the navy. Actually, here you can see at the bottom. There's the colors. Yeah. So. Beautiful. I love it. They're so this soft. is such so beautiful, soft eh? cotton. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, so we have that. Uh, what else is in here? I know. I know. We got a little mini, a little cotton mini. Yes. From Louise. Louise and Adrian were there from Fiber Friends podcast, and she gave us all a color that's like colors we like. So I like got a beautiful little aqua blue for me. And I what does yours say? Yacht. Is that the color? Yeah. Mine is bubbly. Love it. Cheers. Got those. Cheers. Oh, you know what was, I loved it. So, um, Tracy gave us all gift bags with just a few little things. I know. Is this from Tracy too? Yes, that rocks. That's this the is best. A, it's in my um, purse. Organic coconut oil and beeswax lip balm. And then, is this someone local to her? No. MK and crew? Mm-hmm. It doesn't say where they're, they're on from. Instagram. Okay. MK and crew. And it's just a little push up, which I need right now because my lips are really. Time out. Dry. And it is very berry, sort of flavored, scented. Mm -hmm. Love that. And we also got these little bags. Oh, yeah. I made everyone little bags. Little bags. You know what I forgot? Flip flops and Muskoka. They're chairs. just little sock sacks. Yeah. I have, um, I bought flip flop. Charms. Oh, did you? Yeah, That's totally so forgot. Totally forgot. So you're all going to get them just in for the mail. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> and Tracy also included, she ordered some of these tags from they are funny. Bad Betty Knits. They you can are check awesome. her out on Instagram. So they have really like cheeky sayings. So can you see that? What does it say? 
thanks, I needed an excuse to make or to buy more yarn. And then on the back, there's little instructions. So when you make a gift for someone, you can attach this. There's care instructions. And you can like, circle, circle what it's made. Whatever, yeah. yeah. And then this was really cute too. Swatch today, swear less tomorrow. So you can just attach this to your swatch mm -hmm. and fill in the blanks. The details. Love that. So you can order these from badbettyknits.com. I actually have them hanging in my knitting cupboard. Well, this was one I saw it on Instagram because she had one that said, swatches are We're lying, lying liars. liars that lie. <laughs> I love that. And <laughs> she had these, um, <laughs> I, I think they're oh, cinnamon gum. How about a nice big pack of shut the hell up? <laughs> <laughs> they, all, they all had different cheeky sayings on them. Yeah. Love it. And a jar of body butter by Lisa. We put this epi this recipe up on Already. a previous episode. Um, I'll, I'll put it in, you know what, I'll put it in at the end with our little photo mm -hmm. gallery. So if you didn't see it and you don't want to go hunting for it, because I don't remember off the top of my head which um, episode, episode it was. Um, it was back probably um, in May, because it was after, no, April you did the, the mm -hmm. butter. Yeah, but I did it way before, uh, yeah. You did it way before then. I'll put it up again. So it'll be in the, um, the little okay. photo gallery at the end of the episode. Yeah. But it's all natural. There's only a few ingredients and she whips it up in no time. And did you, did you put any, um, essential oil in this one? I don't remember. I don't think No, so. I think it's unscented. I love it. I love, and my jar is almost empty. So that was perfectly timed. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So those were just... And there were some chocolates in there too. Yes. Love My it. My chocolates did not last long. We had such I a good love weekend. love chocolates. It was really good. Yeah. It was nice to sit and knit. And when we were there, do you want to talk about the place in cold water? Yeah, we did a, a little road trip and went to a yarn store. Oh, well, you have to mention we went to the um, home hardware to get noodles. Pool noodles. Pool noodles, yes. We, yeah, we needed a few more noodles to float on in the lake. In the lake. Yeah. And Home Hardware had a giant bin of them, and they're bigger, and they yeah. were on sale. We didn't even think about putting them into a vehicle, but did you, did you have your truck? There? No, I didn't. I, we it, managed. They all fit. They're all fit. I so, think they went in Louise's. Yeah. We went to the Purple Sock in Coldwater. Which is a wonderful little store. It's just, uh, wow. It's not the a big store. The stuff in there. It's crammed with everything. I know. I felt bad because they put um, what I wanted above my head. <laughs> So yes, she made to to full use of her space. Can you get that one? Can you get that one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's everything. I, we couldn't even list it all. She had her, actually a really good selection of some um, indie dyers. She mm -hmm. actually had Blue Water Fiber Arts, like Sonia's yep. from Sonia. Yep. She had some of her fiber. Nice. Um, are we going to talk about what we got? We're talk well, about since what we're, we're talking about the store. Might as well. We're okay. here and now. Okay. I got a skein of Vivid Yarn Studio Meow. That's pretty. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> I used Meow for heels and toes on my um, Yarn Cafe Creations so summer socks last year. The pink ones, I used a different heel and toe. Mm -hmm. And one was Meow and I forget. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one was Kitten now. by um, a different dyer. So now you're gonna use. So now I have a whole skein of Meow. It's just nice. so cute. It's, it's really like pretty. black and pink speckles on a natural base. In there. I don't know if that's just something cracked or if she threw in a bit of, uh, hmm. a bit of, if, it, if the colors broke. Like sometimes the colors break when they do speckles, so you get a tiny little bit of yellow, but it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Cats have yellow eyes, right? Some of them. Anyways, love it. And then there was, she had a lot of Madeline Tosh, mm -hmm. and you know me in this color. So this is, is um, Twist Light in Esoteric. Oh. Or Esoteric? I don't know how you pronounce that. So it's just a real nice sort of teal. There's lots of black tones black in it. Too. Like yeah. an undertone. Yeah. I'm trying Very to catch, nice. here we go, catch the light. Very nice. Yeah, so I've got that. And then I got, um, I just picked up a little pair of sharp scissors. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I have some that are falling apart. And I think that's where I got my DPNs. Do you remember? Remember I bought my Lika DPNs? Yeah, it was there I think. I think it was there. So I bought myself a set of Lika DPNs. Um, so they're just round. You know I love my square, um, Knitters, my knitter's pride cubex, the square ones, the cherry wood ones, but these are the... Do they catch in the middle? Nope. No? Nice. Yeah, because there's this metal. So the size isn't going to rub off like it does with my cubics. Mm -hmm. But 
me uh, right about there. So they're just that same driftwood like color. I look like I'm in prison. <laughs> I used them for a heel and they're oh. very nice. Oh, good. Yeah, really like them. Good, good, good. So I picked up some of those. So when I was there, what did you get? They had that sample of a <gasps> yes. slipper. They had a slipper um, knit up store sample. It was this one. I don't want to show the pattern though. Oh yeah. Upsala? Mm -hmm. Upsala? Yeah. So Some slippers. I decided to do it in this color for the main color and this color for the color work. They're all still. It's Briggs and Little Tuffy. She's got a project on the go, so we can't. This is connected. So yeah. gray marl and just black. a solid black. And then because I was there. Oh, and a natural. Would you buy and this? I thought I would make another pair in this color, which is the sample there. Oh, the sample is done in the yeah, gray so and natural. I got those there. That was the when the poor lady was reaching up for me. Did you say this is a paid pattern now? I believe it is. I'm not exactly positive. Do you want me to look it up? It's in our library, so we think it might have been free at one point. But the pattern is by uh, Ramwell's Co-op um, in Winnipeg. Um, so it's available on Ravelry. She's going to check. I'm not sure if it's free or not. Um, but they're really cute. So I ordered yarn and it came in. Adrian picked it up for me. I got the, the ecru and denim. So it's just a darker denim blue to make some of these myself. Because when she, she pulled them out and she's like, I'm making these slippers. And I checked and I had it in my library already. Yeah, it's a paid for pattern. It is a paid for pattern now. Yep. I think it was one of those ones they had it free when it first came like, out. Yeah. Yeah. Super cute. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, and it's got the Latvian braid at the top and whatnot, oh, yeah. so yeah, okay. it'll be good. So you're making some, I'm going to make some eventually. Yeah, so that's what... That's what we got there. That's what we got there. It was tempting to get a lot of stuff there. Oh, it was a beautiful store. It was. Yep, yeah, beautiful store. We had a really good time, really good outing. And so. then on the way, actually on the way there and the way home, we stopped at True North Yarn. Which is a great store in Barrie. Just, just off, off the of 400. Center, yeah, center... What did you get there? I got two sweater quantities. Did you bring it? I brought one because... Um, to show? Yeah. Okay. Um, I was Googling that. I'll Google it. So, I, I like Briggs and Little. Mm -hmm. And I like the sport. So, on the way there, I bought two things of sweater quantity. I bought the dark gray. Surprise! And the sport. And I bought the light gray. Very nice. But when I got there, I was talking to the one of the people there, and she is actually she was using the light gray for a sweater that I want to make with the mohair. Mm -hmm. But I needed five skeins, so we stopped by, and we dropped off the four skeins. I bought another one on the way home. On the way home, yeah, I dropped the four because they didn't have any more, so I dropped them off. Paid for a fifth one, and they called me and told me my husband can come and get them. Oh. And, it, and yeah, they had an order coming in, mm -hmm. so it'll yeah. be all the same dye lot. Yeah, so that's what I wanted. Awesome. Yeah, so a great little store, though. Yeah, True North Yarns is a really good store. And I got a sweater quantity in sport weight, Andean DK Heathers by Estelle. I like the twist on it's that. It's pretty. 100% Andean Highland wool. And she was like, is that superwash? It's really nice and soft. Like, really soft. You'd think it, it had something else in it. Maybe a little bit of alpaca. I don't know, but... No, nope. it's nice. So, it's a gray, but it's kind of almost bluish gray. Just a medium gray. So, nice. um, some possibilities for this, but I have other things to finish before I can cast this on. But I thought... I don't do we have, all. <laughs> I have a sweater quantity of it. So... Very cool. Yes. And that's all we got there. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's so, it for that trip. Great weekend. Yeah, so that was good. What else did we do? And we were home for a bit. And mm -hmm. then, okay, so while we were there. Oh, no. No, I'm just telling how. It's a segue. Oh, okay. We left on on Monday morning. Sunday night, I was uh, following Ginger Snap that. Or Ginger Snap. And they were on a cross-Canada trip. <laughs> and they're, they were headed east. And they were just leaving. This was like late Sunday night. I'm checking their Instagram posts. And they were just leaving... Um, I think Saskatchewan. I am sleeping. I don't know if you were... I have no idea what's going on. Are you on. already sleeping? You might have been. Yeah. So they were just leaving Saskatchewan, and I messaged and said, um, hey, if you happen to be coming through Sarnia, 
because I didn't know, I thought, well, they'd cut through the States because it's closer. Not knowing that logistically with the whole trailer full of business product that you can't do that. So anyways, I thought, well, maybe they're coming through the States. So I said, if you happen to be coming through Sarnia, if you want to get together for a coffee, like, you know, let us know. We'd love to just meet you and just whatever. for a coffee. Yeah. Because they were on the, I knew that they were making their way to Twist and to um, the Berry Fiber Spirit. And we had no plans to go to Berry Fiber Spirit mm -hmm. this year. So I knew I wouldn't really see them at those events. And I thought, well, if they're coming through Sarnia, we can at least meet them, right? And then uh, Kim has messaged back and said, uh, oh, I'll get back to you. And then she messaged later and said, no, uh, we won't be anywhere near Sarnia. And she said, but hang on. I think they have a friend who lives in Windsor. And she goes, well, let, let me get back to you. We might, maybe we'll go to Windsor. So she had kind of, you know, said, yeah, she was going to just find out when. And then I sent another message and said, well, if you come all this way, like, because that's backtracking three hours each way to come to Sarnia from the Barry area. So I said, if you come all this way, I said, I would host a pop-up shop for you at my house. And I told her that we did it before for Leo and Roxy when they started dying last year. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I sent her a couple pictures of the space. So, that, you know, I do have a lot of, it's open, my main floor is open. So there's room to set up some tables, etc. And I said, you know, we did it before for Leo and Roxy. We had a pretty good turnout and, you know, we could do that again. And then she got back to me and said, okay. So they just told me would they'd be here on like Sunday the 25th, was it? Yeah. And it just kind of happened. So then the next morning we get up and I said, oh, by the way. Yeah. Uh, we're, oh, we're by hosting, the way, good morning. We're hosting a pop-up shop for Ginger Snap on uh, Sunday the 25th. And she's um, like, what? what? Yeah. Just a, that's so, yeah. what happened when I stay up too late. It, so they came. It was fun. It was, it was fantastic. Really good. It, it was, was amazing fantastic. meeting them. Yeah. They're just, yeah. They're, they're fantastic kinda... people. They are, this is a, a main business for them and they're rocking it. Yeah. So they made stops all the way out here and on the way back. Why. And um, what can we say? We we put out the the, the invitation, invitation, right? The notice about the pop-up shop uh, about a week and a half. We did a save the date. And then when we knew what time, I didn't know what time they'd be here. So once we figured that out, it was about a week before. Good. That's quite a few people. We had 20, including. Okay, it, hold on. She likes numbers. I did some, I had to think about this. <laughs> Including Kim and Colin, we had 27 people here, so 25 yeah. people came. And not all from Sarnia. There were two from St. Thomas, six London. from London, and he oh, and Heather came yeah. from to where she was. I'm not exactly oh, that's sure. another story. But we had basically at this pop-up shop, we had four bag makers, mm -hmm. we had representatives of four different podcasts, we had four yarn dyers, and a local yarn store. That's, and that's... everyone came and was supporting him and Colin and mm -hmm. supporting each other and people stayed and knit for a bit. And it was just amazing. No, it's nice. It was really good yeah. to see. Yeah. Worm and fuzzies all around. So with that, do you want to explain this? Oh, yeah. So they stayed at There's my house. segue you didn't even know about. <laughs> they stayed at my house Sunday night. And so it was nice because, like, well, we went out for dinner and gave them a tour of Sarnia and then hung out and knit for a while. And then um, we, oh, yeah. Oh, they're. They gave us a whole bunch of... You're, like, bouncing me all over the place here. I'm going to lose Sorry, my train. I'm my train's, like, off the tracks. They gave us a bunch of stuff. Boom. We'll talk about it in a second. <laughs> but I had a conversation with them about this. So... Do you want to take it out? Read it? I'm going to take it out so that the plastic doesn't reflect. Yeah. Community over competition. So this is a uh, logo... Uh, a graphic designed by Colin. I th oh no, they had someone else. Ah, sorry guys, I don't have the name. I'll put it on the screen. They had another designer they worked mm -hmm. with and everything in the design is connected mm -hmm. uh, to represent how, you know, we are all connected in this, in this knitting world. And it's community over competition. So I asked them more about that. Like, how did it come about? What's behind it? And it's the idea of... Um, as makers in the community, they have experienced or heard of or witnessed. Um, not everyone is always supportive of other makers. And that's really disappointing. Like we're not, I have a small bag shop, but like we're knitters. Mm -hmm. We don't always see that or know about it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really disappointing to hear that that's going on. So they started this, um, the ha there's a hashtag community over competition, which they did not start the hashtag. It's been used in other yeah. ways and in other industries and whatever. But the idea is that there's room for everyone 
and we don't need to be competitive and, and, and cutthroat. Right. Right. We can all support each other. And I think this pop up with the representation we had mm -hmm. totally reflected that. Um, it was just amazing. So that's what they're promoting is that, you know what, we can all support each other. There's room for everyone. And it was just fabulous to see that in action. Not even having like really knowing much about this at the time. It yeah. just, we, we had great people here. So they are these pins and they also have t-shirts and I think tote bags that he has made up that will be in their shop. They're going to be taking a bunch of these to Knit City, Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm just, I think it's wonderful. I know that other makers are embracing it um, and promoting it and good for you. Um, you know, you we, we hear stories about things that have been said and done that are not supportive and kind. Um, and they're, yeah. they're really disappointing. And bad words and deeds travel very quickly among good people. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I just think it's, it's a, it's a pleasure and an honor to support makers and shops and designers and everyone and other knitters who are supportive of each other. Mm -hmm. And that's that's our position, you know. There's room for everyone. So, thank you, Kim and Colin, for just promoting this concept and continuing it. And hopefully, it catches on. And um, fingers yeah, crossed. We just love it. So, yeah. So, so they supported us in Dang. a big way. Um, should we talk first about what we bought from them? Okay, because it was fun. It was fun. I was, well, we were here when they were setting up, so we had a little bit of an advantage because we kind of got some VIP shopping. You gonna go first? Sure. Okay. You got a bag? I got a bag. It's Kim makes bags. <laughs> it's really cute. Is it cats with sushi? It's cats, um, yeah, cats fish. and fish and cats and shrimp. And it's, yeah, it's, it's like so the cute. good, I love the little it's a good fortune friends. cat. Yeah. And then inside, again, I'm trying not to show you what I bought yet, but it's all cats. Super cute. Yeah. So I know you're all going to be surprised, totally surprised at this. I bought a sweater quantity of gray. <laughs> this is, oh, concrete. Worst, the worsted, 100% yep. superwash merino worsted base, and the mm -hmm. color is concrete. Love it. I love it. Yeah. Love, love, love it. Yeah. It was, so it was lucky to have. I have a soul. They've whole done. Full, yeah. You have a whole bag full. Literally. I do, yes. They've done a lot of shows. So we were lucky that there were still right. a few sweater quantities left. Mm -hmm. um, a sweater quantity for me. Oh, is that all you have? Or do you have more? Oh my gosh. This is like math stuff in here. What? I didn't look at this closely, but look, it's math stuff. Oh. I see some like. Their tails look like square roots. Mm -hmm. That's cute. That's funny. Okay, that is so cute. Cat math. Oh, cat math. Don't like any math. And cat -matics. <laughs> So, yeah. Did you have anything else? No, this is you all off. that I bought from them. And I can't wait. I think I'm going to make my, um, the Melcroft, is it called? Oh, Isabel Kramer? Yeah. Love that. Love that one. So, I'm yeah. stoked about that one. That will give you amazing stitch definition for mm -hmm. that sort of, is it like a ribbing, twisted rib? Yeah, it's like, no, I think it's like a ribbing and then it's a regular between it. Like nice. knit. So yeah, I'm awesome. talked about that. I got a bag too. I like those bags. I know. This is, um, I think it's a tulip pink fabric. Well, I know it is. It's a tulip pink fabric. It caught mm -hmm. my eye right away. And it's one of her little mini, like the sort of the doctor bag style where it, oops, I just closed it. Where it kind of opens and there's a metal frame in here. Mm -hmm. And then look, there's like coordinating pockets. That is so side. cool. Flat bottom. I like those bags, but I didn't like any of the colors. I think it's left. got a very I'm light, like, um, quilting lining like mm -hmm, yeah because mm -hmm. it's just slightly padded love it it's beautiful yeah so i have that actually i'm going to be casting on some of their yarn it's going to go in here very good and she also had what oh well those were gifts these were gifts this is, i'm still I'm talking keep drinking about. okay i'm drinking coffee out of my team snap that mug there we go front and back they gave us these mugs Thank you guys so much. I love their logo. I just love it. It's just perfect. They're adorable. They're an adorable couple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, in addition to her own bags, they um, carry a bunch blue. of big, big blue mama bags. 
-hmm. So Big Basket. Blue Mama baskets. Mm -hmm. And Big Blue Mama was also at some of the events. They have um, an Airstream and they just travel around yep. and uh, with their product. On Instagram. Yep, but Colin and Kim did have some of theirs. This is a little mini one, like so cute. Um, I think a few of these sold, well, not the little ones. There were some bigger ones too. Oh, there was yeah. a really nice sort of a nice medium oval shape that I wanted, mm -hmm. but somebody else got picked out that one. So totally cute. And then yarn. Okay. I got a 50 gram. I love that she does these 50 mm -hmm. grams of Panda Party, which is one of their most popular colorways. Hmm. So it's a black, gray, natural with like pink and there's some lime green. That's and cool. All kinds Purple. of stuff in there. Speckles in there. So I'm going to make socks. I'm going to do a coordinating heel and toe. I'm not sure what it probably in the hobby. Oh, there's even blue in there here, but this is a good one. That shows you all the colors in there. Panda party. Yeah, this is one of their top colorways. So I got a 50 gram of that. This is passion fruit cheesecake in zest fingering base. So it's all passion fruit cheesecake. Yeah. Yum. Love it. Eh? They had a, they had a blueberry cheesecake. They had this. A little bit of cheesecake. There were, there were three going of on. them. Yeah. Love that. Very cool. So I have those, and then I bought. Oh right, this is nuts! I bought a sweater quantity. She had to, but there weren't enough in one cut because I need a lot of yardage for a sweater. So no, the, I, I don't think I would have let you buy it. In three one color. colors to do a fade. I needed a big bag for it. So the first color. Oh, and these are all colors that Colin dyed. So Kim has been teaching Colin to dye, oh, and nice. I think they had. She said they had a custom order for some of these, and some of these were leftovers. So I believe um, these colors are going to be added to their lineup and okay, he is okay. dying more, but uh, this is what I got. So Griffin, and this is their Lux Worsted. So if you've heard about their Lux base, the Lux DK, Cozy Up Knits said it felt like butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it does. does. It's crazy soft. So I got that color, mm -hmm. a couple. And then the next one is Deco, a little bit darker. Can you reach it? A little bit darker with the teals and then I could cry I'm taking the thing off this magpie a little darker blue but with the teals still in there okay so take a need to put all these together look at that isn't that crazy so I can fade them and I have enough to do a sweater Someone has been bitten by the bug. I got a sweater bug. I'm excited about this. It's beautiful. This Lux Worsted. 100% so, yeah. Superwash Merino. Soft. Beautiful. Ever. So I love these colors. These are totally my jam. And yeah, I grabbed those when they were on the table. I think I took all the Magpie because there were only three. I would have taken more, but there were only three. So, mm -hmm. um, But I, I can't be for sure. But I think they said he's going to die more of that. Yeah. For future shows and then hopefully eventually in their shop because it's it's definitely a, um i think it's a uh, very popular color it's it's gorgeous it's just stunning and then they gave us a bunch of stuff for giveaways yeah like she put it all in a bag so then we opened the bag like later on at the end of the show after everyone was gone and i was just blown away pretty much right blown away so we're just going to go through all this. These are going to be giveaways on future knit alongs. And at the ends of the episode, we're going to tell you about all of our current knit alongs and future mm -hmm. ones coming on. There's a bag. We're not going to identify which one. We don't know what we're, we're, we're giving out for what, but yeah, these will all just, be prizes. Yeah. yeah. Cause we just got them and you know, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll share the love. So there's this cute little drawstring bag all with the aqua little flowers. Super cute. They look like little poppies. Mm -hmm. Yep. Love it. This is fairy dust in the zest fingering. 50 grams. Yeah, 50 grams. I like it's that. Little... It's the prettiest peachy pink. It is, yeah. With little speckles. This is Sly Fox, another 50 gram zest fingering. And there's just a few, you can see right there, a few little speckles in this one. Not much, just a few here and there. Like pinks and purples and yellows. Okay. This is cloudy and what's that whip whip singles, singles. whip singles 100 yeah. percent superwash merino so not for sock what basis oh, what weight is it's, it it's 437 okay so it's a fingering weight so mm -hmm. it's a, a one-ply fingering weight yeah oh look at the tones in that gray mm -hmm. that's beautiful so yeah all right so a one-ply 
And this is honeydew in the zest fingering, merino nylon. Yes. Honeydew sugar. Yeah, honeydew sugar, sorry. Trying no, I'm trying to avoid sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't even see the word anymore. No. I love it. This is really pretty. So yeah. So that was yeah. pretty. Just the greens on a natural base. Mm -hmm. And this one here I was looking at and Somebody... I looked at it and I thought, what does that remind me of? What does that remind me of? And then I read what it was, like the color name, and it's perfect. It's Banana Split. And someone it's bought that, and I can't remember who, but someone at the show bought it. It's pretty wild, eh? Yeah. Yellows, mm -hmm. pinks, oranges, purples, browns, chocolates. Mm -hmm. This is also a sock, um, 80-20. Yep. Love They're it. Very pretty. What's left? And then this little mini trio, mm -hmm. mini snaps, fingering weight, 80-20. So that you is could so do, girly. There's 25, 25, 25. Mm -hmm. Or is that 25 grams total? I don't know. No, they must be 25 each. Well, that one's 50, so that's have to be 25 each. I think. No, this that's one's not 50. 50. Okay, well, on the package it says 25 grams, 93 yards. So I don't know if that's for... They look too big to be 25 total, right? Mm -hmm. Anyways, there's a hot pink, a beautiful purple, and then a pink and purple variegated. Mm-hmm. Now I think they're twenty-five a piece. So because, that? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And she gave us a. Do you want to wait and mention those later? No, let's do it now. Okay. okay. She gave us a ton of hard copies of patterns from the Cozy Up Knit Girls. Mm -hmm. So she messaged Jamie. We actually had a quick chat, quick chat with Jamie, Hi, Jamie. a little video chat. And Kim has has like a, a ton of these that she uses for shows, mm -hmm. and they've collaborated on some of the designs for kits and things. So she gave us a whole bunch to use as giveaways. So we just picked a oh my God. random assortment. Yeah. There's some of the Sierra Mitts patterns. The Joe's Perfect Slipper Sock. Can you push it closer? Sure. Picture Joe's Perfect Slipper Sock. The Death by Eye Cords shawl. Katie Shawl. Katie Shawl. The Four Sisters Toot Collection. What else? Oh, this was Joe, their mom Joe's pattern. The Kiss Scarf. Keep it simple. <laughs> no. Keep it simple scarf. But we have, like, look at all these copies of patterns they gave us. For Yay, giveaways. So thank we'll you be so adding much, these. Everyone. Yeah, we'll totally be adding these. And maybe we can just do some from the chat threads too. Let's figure cool. out some stuff and some random stuff. And we'll um we'll do some things on Instagram too, because not everyone is in the knit alongs right. on Ravelry. Yep. And we'll do what we can to share the love. Okay. So that was amazing. That was the pop-up shop. Well, it wasn't the whole pop-up shop. It wasn't shop. the whole pop-up shop. So we um someone surprised us with the little visit to our pop-up shop, which kind of melted my heart. Thank you very much. Um, I was looking across the room, and Dawn, someone had come I in. I answered the door. She answered the door, and I'm looking, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh my goodness, that's Heather from Timber Yarns. Oh my. <laughs> so Heather had messaged on our post on Instagram, and she's like, she was kind of like messaging that maybe she'd come, and she said, well, will you have sandwiches? And I said, I'll make you two sandwiches if you can. <laughs> and then she said, oh, you never know. And I just thought, well, she's not going to come all the way here it's, yeah, for an it's, afternoon, right? And, and so did. then she did. So I opened the door and well, first of all, she had her husband David with her and I'm like, I never met him. And I, <laughs> I don't even know if I've, if I had previously spoken to her. I like, have. You I've did. Her, I yeah. saw her at one of the shows and yeah. I've like only looked at her face once on Instagram. It's usually yeah, her yeah. yarn. So I knew what she looked like, but she's amazing. You know, she... hadn't seen her in person. So I opened the door and I'm like, I'm kind of like my brain you know when you hear on TV the mainframe shuts down? <laughs> My brain seized. And I was like, I, I, I know her, I, I think, I don't know. I just was totally, I couldn't process. Mm -hmm. So I said, you're here for the yarn show? And she's like, yeah. And she's like, she holds out her card, Timber Yarns. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I felt like a total tool for not instantly recognizing her. But it just oh, literally you. blew my mind. Okay. Literally. So... Tim, Heather from Timber Yarns came, um, and she brought gifts. Mm -hmm. So she brought 
Um, she brought us a couple things and she says you guys can keep them or give some away, whatever you want to do. So I think we've decided, she brought us this gobstopper called those, oh, it was one of her Christmas colorways. Those Christmas. crazy elves. Oh, they are. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's just wild pink, lime green, hot pink, uh, purple. variegated purples, dark Daniel. purple. Yeah. So we're actually going to split this. It's a double strand gobstopper and um, we're going to knit some, we're each going to knit a pair of socks. And we'll pro I'll probably use she a different. She likes shorties. I like shorties, so there'll be enough left for her. And I'm small. Feet. Especially if I do contrasting heels and toes. Yep. Yep. So we're going to split that one and give away this one. So this is a little kit with a mini. I'm going to show you this side because, um, oh, that's called Aruba. Okay. It's called Holiday Magic. And the mini skein is Aruba. And it's a beautiful, rich teal. I'll go this way. Do we get better light? Look at all those colors. So it's a real modern. What's that one called? Modern Christmas colorway. Mm -hmm. yeah. Holiday magic. Holiday magic. Love it. It does have red in there. Yeah. It's beautiful though. They're just gorgeous. Yeah. And the thing I love is I did the Hudson Bay colors. Mm -hmm. I was worried about the navy. There was no bleeding. It was amazing. Yeah. It's great. Oh. So, <laughs> and there's a little charm. Oh, ours says yarn snob, and this one says resting knit face. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, yeah, thank you so much, Heather. It was awesome. Yes. Awesome to see you. Yes. I guess let's spend some time with you because she did stay for a bit. Yeah, she stayed and visited for yeah, a bit. It was good. Yeah, it was, it was fantastic. Yeah. We're like almost an hour into this and we've only gotten through that stuff. Okay, well, I have no FOs. Do you have any FOs? No, I have no okay, FOs. Okay, well, that section's done. Wait. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to bang through the rest of this. No, we're not because we have a crap ton of whips. I know. That's a technical term, which is more than a crap load. It's a lot. It's a lot. We have a lot of whips. You go first. Okay, so I have been knitting socks like a crazy lady, but I have decided that um, I have three pairs on the go right now. I know that's not as many as some people, but I, my goal is, and I'm showing you and I'm telling you my goal, is to have these done for next podcast and do not podcast tomorrow. So there's these ones, which is Biscott, and it's on my sail. Was it on my sailboat? On my sailboat. On my sailboat. I'm to hold it and it's really there cute. That's really so, cute. Yeah. Totally so that nautical. one has to be done. And then I have this one. Wait, wait, back up, back up. Sorry, back up, back up, Because there's back. maybe people that didn't see the last episode. Okay. You're going to, you're doing them top down, two at a time. I'm doing them top down, always two. Does. Always two at a time. Standard 24 stitches. I have an afterthought. 20, 64. 64, thank you, yeah. I have a forethought heel. So as you put in waist so yarn, I put in waist yarn. Cut in heel will go. And I want it in between the two, like between the blue, so that I can do a bullseye. Okay. So that's those ones. So you're going to use the same yarn? Yep. Okay. So this one here is from our friend. Uh, what is in my balls? Adrienne dyed this when she was dying. All those yarns. Yeah. And there's two. Again, two at a time. And this is 8675309. Can you see it? Yeah. Really pretty. Purples, plums, mauves, blacks, Gray. grays. The whole gamut. We got weird light. Even, even we hot go. pink is in there. So yeah, so those ones, and I'm doing a gusset, heel flap and gusset on those. Funny story, I had those almost done, the heel yeah. flap and the gusset and everything, and I realized that I actually had decreased too many on the one side. Those are the ones you had to back up. Yeah. And then there is these ones, which are almost done. They're loud on your eyes. <laughs> hold them up. Do you want me to hold them up? Those are Octopus's Garden by Leo and Roxy. And and same thing you put the waist yarn put in. put the waist yarn in and I actually put little stripes oh yeah I like I think that I either am going to do the heels and toes in this color the natural the natural or I'm going to pick this blue because I have that color in theirs as well this sort of aqua blue mm -hmm. yeah if you so, can yeah. see it look at the colors in that love it so that's those they have to be done for next podcast and again give me a little You're gonna, we'll have fo's the next time then. yes so that's that um should I'm we keep talking my... socks? You're doing socks. Yeah, I'm doing socks. socks. Okay. I have socks right now in my hands. They're pretty. This is um, Desert Vista Dye Works. Here comes the Zombride. <laughs> and I did, I call it Noelle's Fancy Cuff. <laughs> Noelle does these on their socks. It's They're like just a, a little, table. yeah, it's a two by two rib and she does um, a little twist mm -hmm. every, I just pulled my needle out one second. Every, um, I think four knit rows in between. Okay, cool. Um, I did four twists. Yay. Because I did a short cuff. 
And these are quite shorties. They're probably going to be a tiny bit, a little bit longer because there's my heel. And I actually was, um, so here's a finished one. So you guys can see how it looks. It's not blocked yet. So Love it's it. kind of wonky. And I just used the same yarn. I did do an afterthought heel. So it has that kind of bullseye effect. Mm -hmm. Oops. <laughs> there. It's kind of hard cool. to see. I love these. So I was going to do a contrasting heel and I pulled some mini skeins out and tried a few colors and I actually started it in sort of a variegated rosy pinks because there are some... Sometimes you just need to... It was, it overpowered it. It was too yeah. much. And so I thought, yeah, well that's very similar to this, right? Like what color would you put with that? I think Besides the lighter itself? blue. The lighter blue or the darker blue. Yeah. But, yeah. I just thought because the color, because the rows are so small, the bullseye would really show up yeah. really well. Oh, it will. Yeah, because those are so, those are shorter rows. Yeah. Like if you look at this, the cream is actually a, like I'm, I'm getting almost five rows. That's cool. It's yeah. pretty though. Very pretty. Yeah, so pretty. So I said, right, Desert Vista Dye, Dye Works. Mm -hmm. Here comes the Zombride. And I also ordered um, Cinder Zombody. Bad kitty, bad Get kitty. Out. Bad kitty. <laughs> okay, I had to chase a cat out of the room because she was eating a box. Oh, I like um, that one. Cinder Zombody. So it's skeined up, so it's hard to see, but it's got, it's a six stripe. I like the blue. So there's a pale blue, mm -hmm. uh, and there's speckled. Um, there's a green yeah. speckle. Green I love speckle. the speckled stripes. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't imagine. That just adds a whole other layer of complexity onto cell striping yarn. Wow. But I just love this. So, yeah, you've probably heard of, they're not new, Desert Vista Dye Works. And they're in the States. Does it say where? I can't remember where. Doesn't say where. Doesn't matter. I don't know. Susan Hayes. Thank you, Susan. Beautiful work. So I, uh, I had to cast these on right away. Actually, I had ordered it before we went to Bala. And it, it came in the day we were on the road. So I missed it. But Adrienne had a skein of it in her stash. So, so you guys did a swap. Yeah, she brought it so I could cast them on. And then um, I gave her my new one when it came in. Nice. So thanks, A. That's awesome. It's friends for so you. So I'm knitting on these while we're talking. And then, oh, I have one more pair of socks. These were also a Bala cast on. Um, I'm using Scrumptious Pearl. Ooh. Business Casual. Nice. A very nice different shades of gray not 50 but probably four three or four mm -hmm. uh, this was actually destash from Adrian and um, I picked it up a while back and I didn't want to do just because I've been doing a lot of self striping so I thought I need to add a little bit to it so I am doing zigzagulous which is a free oh, pattern that's nice yeah I uh, like that one so it just adds this zigzag pattern there you go Nice. Are you making longer ones? Down or the short side. Ones? Which way's best? This way. Yeah. Um, I'll probably make them a little longer. Not yeah, super long. Show the zigzag. Yeah, That's I cool. want more of that zigzag, right? Yep. So that is Zigzagulous by Susan White. Mm -hmm. Susie White on Ravelry. It's free. Um, That's it for socks that I have. That's to it show. for socks? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, actually, funny, we have something in common. The next item. I am doing a test knit for Laura, how do you, what's her, Rhinebach, Rhinebach, and it's a sweater, and it's got stripes, so, the stripes, the designer posted a picture of the pattern on Instagram for her test knit call, so we're not, you know, revealing anything that, yeah, yeah it, it was already public on her account, right, do I you want to show a picture of the, the sweater, sure. it just has it folded, yeah, it's just got stripes around the yoke. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so it's a new design coming out. I'm going to do those. Hudson's okay. Bay colors. I am. Love with it. The, with the gray. On a gray base. Yeah, so that's kind of. So that's the. Um, this is the Cascade, Cascade Sport. And it's the. Uh, it's. Peruvian Highland wool. 100% wool. Yeah, it's. It's Cascade hand 220. Wash, hand wash. Lay flat to dry. It just it feels so nice. It is actually really nice. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel as rough as the ca a regular worsted Cascade 220. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So yes, I got uh, some 
I got some of the colors from Little Red Mitten, mm -hmm. and I had to order some from the States. And we're back. We're back. So you're doing a test knit. I am also doing a test knit. Imagine. A sweater test A knit. sweater. A sweater. So, um, Isabel Kramer, whose patterns I absolutely adore. And they're just like a, a size too small for me. So, she put out a call for testers for three patterns. And I think they're patterns that she's getting the rights back to. Like, they were in a publication. Yep. So, she's taking advantage at this time because she now she can um, sell them individually to, um, Add more sizes so she's been working on that which is fantastic mm -hmm. and um, she the one that I was interested in in the shape of it is called Woodrow it's Woodrow mm -hmm. it's gorgeous this looks like a big oversized sweatshirt and I'm I actually had messaged um, had messaged them because there's someone who uh, I don't know if it's her a moderator her yeah or her tech editor editor mm -hmm. but I messaged her and said I'd love to test this in size seven um, is it okay if I do it in a solid color the d the color work design isn't gonna affect bus sizing so I wasn't too worried about if I do it in a solid it shouldn't make a difference for testing the sizing of the new bus size um, and it's an it was a pattern that's already been out, so mm -hmm. they said yes. So I'm like, Yay. okay. So then, I don't have a sweater's quantity, or I did not at that time have a sweater's quantity of sport weight yarn. I had worsted, but you can't sub that. So what I had, I looked, oh, I agonized over a couple of days over this, didn't I? Yes. Um, there was a yarn I wanted to do. It was the uh, Zoe by Juniper Moon, and there's a couple colors I wanted and there were yarn shops. It's a summer yarn. It's a cotton linen, cotton linen mm -hmm. and nobody had a lot left. And, um, and then the website I was ordering from didn't have the color I wanted in enough. So then I thought, okay, what have I got in sport weight that I can get and that I can test swatch test, right? Make mm -hmm, sure mm -hmm. like I want a gauge swatch, make sure I'll be able to use it. So I had Malabrigo Arroyo in my stash and I did three different swatches, <laughs> trying to get gauge, um, and I got gauge. I tried a 3.5 millimeter because I lose I knit loosely, um, and then I tried a three millimeter, which was a little too small, and then I hit the nail on the head with the 3.25. So there's my. Oh, well, you don't care about see. This is not the color I'm using, but um, I just bang, and that was after blocking. My now, gauge was right. Do you know what I? Just a little FYI hmm. is. Um, some I started doing gauge swatches, mm -hmm. and I will actually put eyelets for the U.S. Oh, how size, many? For the U.S. Big size, because like, I did yeah. a size seven and a size six, and I put the yeah. seven holes on the seven, and yeah. Some people so, also yeah. do so many garter rows. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, you because you of... can't do three and a quarter eyelets, mm -hmm. but you could do the U.S. size. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's a great tip because then you don't have to worry about tagging it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that, I mean. I have I have it in. You can still tell. Now it. I know, yeah. but yeah. So I got Gage. So I ordered some, and it also did not come in the day like it came in the day after we left for our uh, for Bella. So I couldn't start it. I was I'm a week behind. So I have to have the yoke and a sleeve done by September second. I have to knit, like this is my um, full time job. And I ordered the Malabrigo Arroyo in Prussian blue. I think I might be ordering that blue. Oh, my God, I want to blow up the color. It's a it's dark really... navy, almost black. Hang on. Yeah, it's not really... Is that better? No, it's still almost You can kind black. of see the blue tones in it. Yeah. It's And it's hard to photograph this guy. Holy cow. But it's dark. Yeah, it's just blowing here, out. Hold on a second. Back here. It looks black, but it's navy. Navy, navy, navy. So, hold it up again. Oh, you think that'll help? No. Can't you can really. see the different tones in it there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll have to find a really good good light and get a good picture of it. So, I am, I'm like about three rows away from dividing for the sleeve. Oh, good. So, this was excellent. There's short row shaping. There's German short rows, which I had never done before. I like and German I love short them. rows. Love yeah, them. They're nice. Yeah. Um, she, 
increases, of course, because the yolk and uh, <laughs> I can get it over my head, but no, it's on a, it's on too tight of a cord. No. So um, it's going well. I'm loving it. Stocking stitch. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. Very cool. Can't wait. So I'm really excited about this. It just feels it's lovely. It's nice yarn. It's really lovely. And this is a great color, isn't it? I love the color. Yeah. You're going to have to order some of that. So I'm working on that a lot. Yes, you are. Oh, I wonder if we showed it in like a skein. Oh, do I have a skein? No, I don't. I just have okay. a ball. I don't think it'll make a difference. No, not just really. depending on where it catches the light, you can kind of see the blues in it, mm -hmm. but yeah. Oh well, it's gorgeous. You have to come and see her in person. I'll make sure she wears it next time we go somewhere. I'm like, okay, I, I think they want, well, they want the yoke and one sleeve done for September 2nd. And I think they'd like to have the rest done not too long after. Mm -hmm. um, but those are the two main sizing things. Issues, yeah. And then um, it's going to be too warm to wear it. Not well, I won't long. have it done for Kitchener. No. Uh, if And we're not totally sure we're going to Kitchener yet. I want to have a Jennifer Kitchener. You have a Woodstock. For Woodstock. Yeah, but I'm, I'm usually in a t-shirt in Woodstock. Like in the barns, it'd be okay. But I'll have to wear a t-shirt under it so I can take it off. Okay. So I'm actually hoping for a little bit cooler weather. Sunny, but She's cool. She's hoping for sweater weather. Not rainy. <laughs> sweater weather. Um, yeah, for... so I'm totally excited about that. Good. I'm totally excited. And then um, hopefully, if this goes well, she'll add more... Sizes. Sizes to the rest. Or, and that'll know, be fabulous. Because there's so many of her patterns I love. Oh, how could you not? I know. I just bought a bunch. That's my test knit. I have another sweater. Uh, oh, yeah. So we have a, a knit along going on for my first sweater. And the project or the pattern I was working on was called Joan. I'll get these away. Oh, this picture's not going to. No called Joan. I've shown it before. It's called Joan. It's by um, Christelle Nihul, Nihul, Crystal LK Designs. Mm -hmm. And it's very pretty. It's very girly. It's a v-neck. It's, um, it's got lace in it. It's, it's made for curves, right? It's shaped. Yes, yes. And it has some lace along the neck. Nothing too grandmotherly. Like, it's really nice. <laughs> too grandmotherly. <laughs> So again, I swatched, did two swatches very modern. for this. Very modern. Yeah. And I'm knitting it in the Barocco Summer Silk. It's a DK. Which is really nice. And this it's is a really, really amazing super soft. Pattern. Amazing. And <laughs> this is how much I have done. Because then this other test knit started and I really wanted to do that. So I have the neck shaping done. You know what? When an opportunity comes, it's okay to put stuff I'm down. I'm still going to knit this. It's yeah, just yeah. been on pause. Because I want to get the milestone hit the milestone for that. Sorry, it's all tangled. But I've got the neck shaping done, and I'm just at the point now where I have to start the chart to do the right front for the okay, V-neck. good. So because of that, and you know, just getting into the chart reading, um, I have put this aside for now, mm -hmm. but I totally want to get this done too. Very cool. So yeah, two sweaters, two sweaters on my needles. I that know. That I'm very excited about. I know, it, some people wouldn't believe it, but I would. I was so excited when I saw Joan come out, and that's what triggered us to do this. Mm -hmm. A sweater knit along for me, making my first me sweater. I've done smaller sweaters, mm -hmm. not one for me. So what else you got going on? I don't have any oh, more I do have one other. I have one other one. Okay, what you got? Do I have this for the last episode? Yes. Okay. I've made progress on it. So awesome. I am adapting the Seaside Stroll baby blanket pattern to a wrap. Seaside Stroll. I'm adapting the seaside baby blanket pattern to the seaside wrap. I don't like the word stole. I know. It's What's a stole? It's walking it's out a of the store without paying for it. So it's just going to be a long rectangular wrap. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got these slip stitches. It's a free pattern available from a Spass Trico. Nice. So you can kind of see the design there, right? How's that looking? I think it's beautiful. I like it. Yeah. Might have to do one. Oh, it's so memorable. And this is the most amazing yarn. I'm using... I have the tag right here. There we go. Ilamani Sabri. Oh, nice. Which is 85 organic cotton, 15% baby alpaca. It's it's a dream. It is so soft. Yeah, so I am still on my first ball. 
First skein. First skein? That's pretty good. I know. And there's a bit They're left. Pretty big skeins. It is. Well, it's 400. Okay. Okay. I um, was concerned. I have to measure this and then mm -hmm. do the math and see what my total length is estimated okay. to be. I was concerned it might not be just not quite long enough. Okay. So I had put... Um, One aside. Well, I've got a request in for another skein at True North Yarn because they have an order coming. Um, so they'll call me when that comes in. And I'm going to decide by then if I'm going to need it. I may okay. not. Like there's, I was just worried that three times this is... I like I like how our European road trip can wrap and then still okay. hang. We'll see. Yeah. So I have to decide whether I think I'll need. I probably won't even need a whole fourth skein though. So it's. Eh. But I'm. I adapted that just by. Um. I'll add my project notes or add my math to the project library in Ravelry eventually. Okay. Um. How many stitches I cast on? I just can't remember it off the top of my head, but I've got it somewhere. And then it just has the rib, and then these slip stitch lines come off the rib, and there's ribbing on the side, so it's not going to curl. Oh, nice. Right? Okay. Which I love. Yeah. Very good. Super easy, memorable. Um, you don't have to look at the pattern after you mm -hmm. get going. Good. Totally. Good, good. I like that one. Make sure you put on the math on there because I, I know will. someone else in the room might like that one. Yeah. I have it written down because it's you have to get the right multiple so that you have the, the right, um, where the slip stitches come up, you want the right count for them, mm -hmm. right? Otherwise, you'll have like half of another repeat. That's all. I did it wrong the first time and then had to tear back. <laughs> so what else? That's it for me. Is that all of our whips? That's, that's all of it. Slippers? Socks, 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 sweater. Yeah. So I'm talking about what knit alongs we have? Yes. Okay. We have a few. Mm -hmm. We have our Love Local Make Along mm -hmm. 2019. Till September 30th. Goes till September 30th. There are 77 posts so far. Holy yay. Now people get two entries. Um, this is all about supporting small business, indie indie yeah, business. Local makers, yeah. independent designers. Yeah. Local yarn shops. So you get one entry if your the majority of your materials are from that category. You get a second entry if the pattern is independently published by the designer. Perfect. Yep. So you can get two for one on that one fairly easily. And we have our crochet knit along, Codependent Knitters crochet along, mm -hmm. also going till September 30th. Okay. There are 18 posts so far. Yay! Yep, that's going really well. Anything except dishcloths, but um, if you're a crocheter, throw it in there. Anything goes. Then we have my first sweater knit along. first sweater. Goes till October 31st. Awesome. I am really trying to have two done by then. Wow. Yep. Good job. I know. Then our fall shawl make along starts September one, and that's in a couple of days. I'm gonna try really hard to have this podcast up by September one. Okay, it goes September to November thirtieth. To November thirtieth. Yeah. We're both casting on the gala shawl. Mm -hmm. That's gala by Aranine Designs. Yeah. And, and if you do that one, you get a double entry. Double entry if you do the gala shawl. Yeah. Check it out. It's a nice squishy um, triangular pretty... shawl. Yeah, it's and nice. I'm going to grab the yarn that I'm making that in. One second. All right, the pattern calls for DK. Um, I'm using Malabrigo Washed, which is a super wash worsted. Nice. And it's, it looks like more like a light. Yep. Like I think I can totally pass this for DK. And it's a shawl, so it doesn't matter. So this is the Malabrigo That's pretty. Washed. Holy. I know. Sorry. Woke me up there. It's pinky, orangey, rosy, little bit of everything. Raspberry. There. And the color is called English Rose, color 57. Yeah. So I have never seen this anywhere except the store where I bought it from. Rich and I got this when I was in Orlando. Okay. And from the knitting patch. Okay. So she said it was a newer yarn, like the super wash worsted. Oh, nice. Called washed. So just love it. It is, yeah, hundred percent super wash merino wool. Ta da! Love it. And you're gonna cast on gala in what yarn? Uh, Highlander by Diamond. Diamond Luxury. Yeah. 
gray? Yeah, surprise. <laughs> it's a light gray. I, know you gray. I think I knew you had that in your stash yeah. in gray. It's a silver gray. So get those ready. Cast mm -hmm. on September 1. Yep. Any shawl. Double entry if you do gala. I'm also hoping, I don't know if it'll be September 1. It'll be after September 1. I'm also hoping to cast on the um, Storm Shawl by Hohi. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a recent release, and it's a crescent shawl with lots of drop stitches. It's a one skeiner, and I am decided to do it in Zen Yarn Garden Serenity Silk Single. 75% mm -hmm. superwash merino, 15% cashmere, 10% silk. This color is called Moody, and it's been in my stash that is for... Moody. That's a really good name It's for probably that. been in my stash for at least two years. So do you want to tell me the other thing about Zen Garden? Yeah, the reason I picked this yarn is because um, Zen Yarn Garden has announced they're opening a retail store here in Sarnia. Yay! So they, I think, I believe they die here, and they, I, they I do. don't know, they haven't said the location. It may be where their dying facility is, mm -hmm. um, and they haven't set a firm date, but they had hoped by the end of August, so it, like any day now. So we're just waiting for that news, and then we're going to go check them out. Um, yeah, and I thought, well, hey, they're opening a new store. I've got it in my stash. There's lots of purples in here. There's also Can browns and blacks there? and grays. And yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Really pretty. So, and the other reason is because Hohi is doing her fall knit along and you have to register your project ahead of time. You can enter mm -hmm. a project once and, but you don't cast on until September 1. So sometime after September 1, hopefully yep. I'll get this going too. And Perfect. I'll have, uh, I'll hit Hohi's. I'm doing it for ours, obviously. And in honor of Zen Yarn Garden, the colors in this are amazing. So I'm really excited about that. So yeah, so that's talking about news. Zen Yarn Garden's opening a store. What else is up and coming? Let's look at our list. A list over a here. I'm trying to look at the list. So that should be any day now. Yeah. We just found out from Carrie and Jolyn, um, who own the Little Red Mitten, that Leo, they're taking the Leo and Roxy booth to a new, we think it's new. Um, Never heard of it. A new show called The Fiber Show, S-H-O. Mm -hmm. It's Fiber E-R. It's in Windsor, Ontario. Mm -hmm. um, September 7th. It, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll put the address up here. They have a Facebook group and mm -hmm. a Facebook event page, but basically okay. it's Fiber Show. So if you search for that, um, then you can find the address. It is in Windsor on September 7th from 11 to 6 free admission so Leo and Roxy will be there I don't think it's huge huge and it's mm. all things fiber like felting weaving all kinds of things um and and like art made by fiber okay. it sounds like a really interesting show so um if we can get away that Saturday we, we may go to that we'll see we, sounds we, like a plan yeah. to look into it we've been so busy uh, but that's coming up, so if you live anywhere in our area, you might want to check that out. Mm -hmm. Or if you're on the Michigan side and you're, you know, it's just across the bridge. Uh, yeah. Yeah, from Detroit. Speaking of Michigan. Speaking of Michigan. Like that? See I that heard... slide in there gracefully. <laughs> Great segue. <laughs> the Michigan Fiber Arts and Quilters Convention yeah. is October 10th, 11th, 12th in Port Huron. I heard about this from a quilting shop near us called Stitchery. Um, I actually won a door prize, door prize, massive door prize gift massive. basket. Massive. Um, they had a pop-up shop event with a couple of um, quilt stores that came to Petrolia. And I went and I bought a few, just some fat quarters and stuff. And then they called and said I won a prize. So I finally picked that up. There's so much stuff in there. There's two quilt kits. Good luck. Um, there were two pattern books, a calendar, you know, uh, the little mini iron that so that's yeah. handy if you just want to keep that for pressing out seams by your by your sewing mm -hmm. machine. There was a fold up cutting mat, like half it folds up and it's mm -hmm. about the size of a portfolio. Oh nice! It's half the self healing cutting mat and half of an ironing pad. More fat quarters. Just I was blown. Then away. It was huge. Blown away. It was, that's the biggest door prize ever. Mm -hmm. So that was um, a thrill. And when I went to pick it up, they were telling me about this Michigan fiber arts and quilters convention. Apparently it moves around and this is the closest it's been to Sarnia. Oh, nice. So yeah, it's going to be in Port Huron. Okay. Um, that's Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. They have a ton of classes. Um, now it says fiber arts and quilters. There are a few, I think it's mostly fabric and quilting and sewing related, but there are some, um, 
rug hooking, like wool rug hooking. Okay, yeah, yeah. And you know, some of the vendors say fabric and wool. Okay. So um, you can check that out. There are classes that they are are Very good. offering. Um, We'll see. I, I might try and pop over there. There is going to be a quilt show as well, mm -hmm. like uh, with samples and stuff. Well, and like um, made up quilts, like prizes, like yep. judged, judged, yeah. adjudicated quilt show. That's what I meant to say. So that's kind of cool because a lot of us that do fiber arts do more than one. So there may be other sewers among us. Okay. And then the Kitchener Waterloo Knitters Fair, September fourteenth, mm -hmm. nine thirty to four thirty over 80 vendors this year and they have released the map so you can find that on their website on Instagram on Facebook they released just the show map so you can yep. you know plot out where all you want to go that's what she does I every usually night do that before. well um the first few times I went to shows for sure because I I like to go and look at the vendor list mm -hmm. and now I'm familiar with some of them but if there's a vendor I haven't heard of or if I just want to check out what they have mm -hmm. then I like to make sure I um I get there and just highlight where they are so I know and I make notes so I know okay you know there's something I want to see there it's a big show I like to plan for Woodstock Fleece Festival one of my oh. favorites October That's 19th favorite. October 19th 10 to 5 90 vendors 90 plus over 90 vendors. vendors yay and they were offering a bunch of workshops and classes mm -hmm. um, some of them were on the Friday but the marketplace is only on Saturday okay and are we gonna do the tailgate party again we could do that we could maybe do. we'll think about it we'll think about it okay so oh and then we have oh this this next up in in chronological, chronological. order <laughs> vogue knitting live columbus ohio uh november one mm -hmm. that weekend and lots of great um classes and yep. instructors and marketplace and they have packages Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to do a class and, and a workshop, that kind of thing. Very good. Check that out. Because that's, that's like four hour, four and a bit hour drive for us. So mm -hmm. people in our area, it's not that far away. It's totally... It's um, totally doable. Total accessibility there if you want to get to a big event like that. And I don't... It's not always in Columbus, Ohio. No, it changes. Yeah. So that's actually fairly close to us, which is kind of nice. And then we are going to the Arnie and Carlos event at the Little Red Mitten end of November... It's a weekend event. They have a bunch of classes. I, I think they may all be full now. Uh, they had a couple openings they said on their... In a few of the, the classes? And in their, um, some, they had openings. Okay. I don't remember what the openings were, but it was in their newsletter. It's on the Little Red Mitten so, website. Yeah. You can always um, check there. And, and we're also going to... They just have a lecture on the Sunday, a one-hour lecture. We're going to do that? Yeah. So yeah, we're doing a class in that. And then the lecture. And they're separate tickets. So if mm -hmm. you just want to go to the lecture or if that's if there's still tickets available for mm -hmm. the lecture, so, um, yeah. you can check that out. That's pretty amazing. That's, we're blown yeah. away that they're coming to St. Thomas, Ontario. Very excited. Yeah. And that looks about it. I think that's it. That's it. That's it. I think that's it. That's it. Do you want to talk about more? No, that's it. Okay. Wow. That was pretty good. I mentioned all the knit along. Yep. I did. There we go. Yay! Just over an hour. Not too bad. Not too bad. So I'll put a few photos here at the end mm -hmm. like we always do. Yeah, yes. Uh, we hope you'll check us out. Follow us on Instagram if you use Instagram. We're not on Facebook. Um, we just do Instagram and we have a little Ravelry group with all our knit along yep. info. Um, and if you enjoy watching like and subscribe down below and uh thanks for coming out thanks for sticking with us it's yeah, pretty exciting right. yeah it's pretty cool all right well that looks like about it so happy knitting take care make time to make something and we'll see you soon bye
silly because you think me okay, getting you know, off like, could be a good idea. Okay, you know what? You gotta sit more in the middle. Like, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. <laughs> Oh, this is good. <laughs> Don't turn around and see what's coming. <laughs> Quiet! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, you survived. Can I give you my sunglasses? Yes. Okay, Move over, I'm coming. <laughs> Back further. No, okay, get there. Tell us. <laughs> 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 Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi,